Hey guys, I hope you're all doing really well. So I am so happy that I am here today and that I was able to stick to my promise and get this video out on Sunday, which is today. We also have a total full moon eclipse. Um, so yeah, it will be interesting to see what comes through in today's reading, which is going to be for twin flames or divine soulmate connections. Um, yeah. Let's see. I don't really have much to say this time. I am still offering um, cord cutting sessions, but if you want any information about that, you can go and look on my community page. I made a post on that a while back and it's still there, so that way I don't have to be repeating myself. And if you have any questions, feel free to email me. And also, <clears throat> if you would like a personal reading, you can find all that information in the description box under this video. All right, and this reading is going to be general, so it's not going to be for everybody's situation. I think most of you guys already know that, but always need to say it just in case. Okay, so let's get some Oracle cards to get this reading started and see what is going on, firstly with the Divine Masculines, and then we'll also take a look at the Divine Feminines. All right, so for the Divine Masculines, what do we need to know? What is going on with the Masculines currently? Okay, interesting. We have a woman holding a coin. Let me just get a couple more and then see what this is about. All right, okay, we have protection, I see. So this is really, really interesting. What I'm getting here is that the Masculines are actually in this state of wanting to protect the connection with their feminine. Um, with a woman holding a coin, I was actually getting a very like motherly type of a feel. So it doesn't matter that they, you know, that it's a masculine, so they have more masculine energy. They can still um, possess some feminine energies and feel that motherly type of protection for the connection or for their feminine. Okay, so this is coming through very, very strongly. And of course, it's going to play out in different ways for each of you, um, also depending on whether or not you are in contact or in communication. Let's see. So it could be that the masculine is even worried about the feminine, not really knowing what you are up to or just worried maybe about certain things that you might be doing <clears throat> and just feeling very protected. Let's see what else is going on with masculines. Okay, and we have patience, forgiveness, and the answer is yes. All right. I don't know if they're being patient with something, but it feels more like the masculines knowing that the feminines have been very, very patient with them. Um, We also have forgiveness. So it's kind of like they're, they're feeling like they want to be forgiven, um, feeling a sense of guilt almost for the feminine having waited, for them having kept the feminine waiting. So this is something that they are really recognizing at the moment and just knowing how, how long this has been dragging out between the two of you. And for some of them, this could even be them coming to a place of forgiving their own self because a lot of, a lot of them have been holding on to subconscious guilt for that, all right? So it may not have been conscience, it was subconscious, but whatever the case, it is coming to the forefront of their minds at the moment. Um, so this could be something that they are working on. All right, let's get into the tarot and get some more details here. So let's see what is just going on with the masculines overall, their overall energy, anything that wants to come through for the masculines, just in general. All right, <clears throat> they're all in reverse and it's the queen of pentacles in reverse. So interesting, it's like the woman holding a coin. Um, the two of wands in reverse and the nine of wands also in reverse. 
Hmm. Okay, for some of them, um, this could even be talking about a karmic partner. This reading is not um, specific for those of you involved in um, karmic or third party situations. Okay, I do those every other week, so I will be doing a reading specifically on that next week. But sometimes it can still show up in these readings as well. Um, but I feel like that's just for some of you, that yes, <clears throat> if that is the case, um, they're really viewing this person, partner, as the person that they don't want to be with, okay? It's in reverse. Possibly even just seeing a lot of the negatives, a lot of the flaws, the incompatibility. Um, <clears throat> I even feel like, more specifically, it's being able to see that this person cannot be nurturing to them, cannot nurture to their, to their needs. It's just not fulfilling and this person might even be pulling back in that sense. Um, <clears throat> okay, so that's just for some of you. Other than that, yes, I am still getting the message that this is the masculine really wanting to be protective and not being able to. Um, feeling like, you know, their hands are tied, that there's just nothing that they can do to protect the feminine <clears throat> in the situation that they are now or in the way that the situation is right now currently. So this is pretty upsetting to them. Um, whatever's going on in their own situation, like personally outside of the Divine Feminine, although it's always somehow related, um, there's no path forward. It's almost like this complete sense of giving up, giving up and moving forward in that direction. It's kind of like their endurance is running out. I was talking about something about resilience and endurance in the last reading, which was specific um, to karmic situations, but it doesn't matter. Like the same principles can apply and the same messages can apply, but just in other areas of their life. It doesn't have to be that they are involved in, a, um, in another relationship. And basically what this is, is that they, they have been building up endurance. It's like, um, this is what I was explaining in the other video, that they get used to being unhappy. They get used to things being the way that they are. They build up tolerance to the unhappiness. And what's happening now is that that's reaching a peak, feeling like, you know, they just, that endurance is breaking. That tolerance is breaking. So let's get <clears throat> let's get some messages here for what they're thinking and feeling towards their feminines. The Ten of Pentacles, I think this one was next. <clears throat> the Ten of Pentacles upright, then we have the Queen of Cups in reverse, the Five of Wands in reverse, and the Magician in reverse. Okay, um, I think if I remember correctly, again in the previous reading, just because, I mean, it wasn't that long ago, it was only like a few days ago, so it makes sense that we're going to be getting similar messages. Um, I think I was saying that it feels like the masculines are just not really doing anything. I could be wrong on that, but th I have a feeling that it was something along the lines of them just kind of going with the flow. It Again, I'm getting the sense of almost like having surrendered and given up to the situation. And it's because of exhaustion. It's like just <laughs> succumbing to whatever situation that they are in. All right, whatever that is, whether it be overworking, whether it be um, avoiding their feelings, whether it be having a fear of commitment or just, you know, or just living something that they don't like, a third party, whatever it is, they're exhausted, no more tolerance, just kind of, yeah, exhaling into the situation, okay? Um, so along with that though, that also means, right, concerning their feminine here, that it's, again, it's almost like, it, like this essence of almost giving up, but 
we know that that's not really the case, okay? We have the Ten of Pentacles as the very first card here. It's like they're, they're having this fantasy of having this um, Ten of Pentacles, this commitment, this long-term stable relationship with their feminine, that this is on their minds. Um, <clears throat> but I'm getting that for a lot of them, they feel like like the feminine may have had a shift in his or her feelings towards this. And maybe you have, and that's actually, if you have, I mean, that's the detachment. So the masculine is picking up on this. <clears throat> and yeah, it does seem like initially for some of them, at least for this group here, it's making them give up, almost feeling like, all right, well, I lost the feminine. The feminine isn't really showing much emotions, whether it be, you know, physically or energetically, or maybe, you know, it's that the feminine may be in this um, modality of kind of having given up. And so the masculine is picking up on that and reacting like in a similar way, but this is temporary. This is something that they need to go through. It's like that initial disappointment with something before you then get your motivation back right and then wanting to actually go and fight for it and the reason why is as i said before is because they're just so exhausted um because of the endurance and the tolerance that they have built up to the way that they have been living their life without the feminine <clears throat> and you know not going after what they want so yeah it's like they're not fighting for this at the moment it's kind of like they've just surrendered, not manifesting, not really feeling like they have control over what is going on. And that's good. They do need to realize that they do not have control over their feminine. The feminine is not always going to be there, you know, obsessed with them or just, you know, waiting minute by minute um, for the masculine to make an offer. This is something that needs to happen. Um, so yeah, we will look into what this is leading to and what this might be, you know, what might be coming up following this. But I actually want to get just a couple more. Just anything else that wants to come through about what's going on here with these masculines. Just anything else? All right, the Four of Wands, the Eight of Cups, and the Hermit in reverse. They're thinking a lot about commitment overall. Um, <clears throat> and we do have the Sun in Taurus, and the Full Moon is in Scorpio. Those are two very fixed signs, so it does make sense that they're thinking a lot about commitment and you know where it is that they are committed or where it is that they're not committed and what it is that they can hold on to from their lives and what it is that they can shift, what it is that they can change, but at the same time still hold on to some kind of stability from their life. So all of that is kind of playing out. Um, I feel like this is playing out in the background because on the surface, it's like, yeah, this given up, but in the back of their minds are thinking, hmm, you know, well, maybe I can change this. You know, maybe there is a way for me to, you know, hold on to what I want to hold on to, but then also go after what I want, right? Which would be the divine feminine. And maybe I can turn that queen of cups, you know, upright. So a lot of thinking about commitment and what it is that they can release or something that they have been holding on to, something that has been stable in their lives, right? Which could even just be ways of thinking, right? It's just something that is serving as a foundation for them. For a lot of them, maybe it's... Um, religion or you know cultural norms or just you know the way that they have viewed themselves like an idea that they had in their minds for how they would be you know um forever and ever whatever it is that was stable to them it's they're thinking a lot about that and how they can actually detach from that and move towards a new and a different path I'm even getting them wanting to come out of this hermit mode. Um, I mean, apparently for the hermit to be showing up here, especially in reverse, I'm getting that for a lot of these masculines, they have been either a little bit withdrawn or maybe completely withdrawn, um, a little bit distant. They don't like that. They don't like that um, at the moment. But yeah, 
they need to go through this, basically. <laughs> um, let's see, should we clarify? I kind of feel like the messages were actually very, very straightforward, very clear. Um, just give me a sec, let me see if there's anything that is calling to me to be clarified. Actually, that Queen of Cups is... Alright, and we have the Ace of Swords in reverse and the Seven of Cups. Okay, yeah, see, so they're not sure. They're not sure what the what the feminine is doing. If the feminine is taking action in a different direction, if the feminine has other options, other choices, you know, what you might be doing. Um, they don't know. And so they're feeling like, you know, you may have moved on or that you are moving on or that you might be considering other options, but they're not sure if this is true or not. Um, or at least they don't, they're not sure to what extent it is true, but that's something that is, you know, confusing them a little bit. And again, it's like initially it's making them lose motivation. But again, they need to go through that because they need to realize that whatever situation that they're in, they need to make a change regardless of their divine feminine. And that's, I feel like that's like a big lesson for both the masculines and the feminines is that, you know, whatever we need to change in our lives, we need to change it for our own selves. It's not just about being together. It's not just about union. It's about, okay, what shifts do I need to make on a deeper level, um, you know, in my life or in the way that I function I need to do that independently of my divine counterpart. And once I've done that, okay, then consider union. So this is why I'm saying they need to go through this period where they're feeling like, you know, there is no motivation. Good, good. Let them make that change that they need to make without having you as an influence or as a motivator. They need to do it anyway, whether you are there or whether you are not there. And that's exactly what's happening here. Okay, so um, hopefully, you know, if you've been <laughs> noticing, you know, any of these energies in your masculine, this will help you to understand why um, they're going through this and it will help you to not, you know, be discouraged about anything if, you know, you're at a place where you could be discouraged. Okay, so let's move on to the feminines and then we'll see what is coming up. So for the feminines, please, what do we need to know? I might not get as many cards for the feminine. We'll see. Okay, we have Healer of the Ages, which is just pretty much showing that the feminine is in the process of healing. And not only that, you have already done so much healing. So good job. moon extremes what's going on feminines <laughs> are you engaging in extreme behavior maybe some of you just take the messages that resonate with you okay they're not all going to resonate with everybody um i feel like you know if if the like the masculine's energy can sometimes be a little bit more more general or or apply to more of them but for the feminines Feminines can just be so complicated as well. I know we say masculines are complicated, but feminines can definitely be com <laughs> um, complicated. Let's see. Let me get three from this deck here. Ooh. Okay. We got more than expected here. Let's see what we got. We have <clears throat> bound, family, conclusions, and awakening. Okay, I see. 
I see. So this extreme behavior or maybe extreme like attitudes or feelings or like an emotional roller coaster, that's what that's referring to. That is what has been healing or that is what is healing or that is what you have healed. So it could be that um, for some of you, you may have been going through this roller coaster where <clears throat> it was like an extreme in what way in that, you know, maybe you were like really, really attached at some points or just feeling, you know, extremely emotional concerning this situation. And then you would go from that straight to being, um, feeling like, oh, you know, I don't want this anymore. I don't need this. I'm good. Um, I'm done with this, that kind of a thing. And I feel like that was actually, you know, um, it, it, it can be toxic because then what happens is that doesn't last, right? You're going for, you're jumping from one extreme to the other extreme, but it's like you bypassed all the in-betweens, right? And you want to be somewhere like in the middle where, yeah, you know, you are detached, but not because it's a self-defense mechanism or anger because anger can make us feel that way. But then once the anger subsides, you know, then we're back to the other extreme of either feeling obsessed or really attached or really emotional, really depressed. You get the idea. So it's jumping from one extreme to the other. That is what you are healing. So I feel like these extremes have lessened and they're becoming more and more mild for a lot of you. For some of them, it, you may have even eliminated them completely. That's what I'm getting here with this conclusion card. All right, and it's also that is in line with your awakening and that's why <clears throat> um, these are becoming more and more mild. And I do feel like a lot of you have completely closed out this toxic cycle within yourself. Now we also have the family card here. So for a lot of you, I, I do kind of feel like this is a little bit on its own. Um, for a lot of you, this either may have been also in relation to family, like you may have had similar patterns with your closest, the closest people to you, okay? It doesn't have to be like blood relatives, um, but whatever you consider to be family, you may have seen these patterns play out in family. Um, and for some of you, like you may have been awakened to this because of them, like you might see, and you know, be, be aware of this actually, keep this in the back of your mind. Certain patterns that you have concerning your masculine those same patterns might play out with other people in your life. And sometimes it's easier to recognize them or to become aware of them with other people because we're, we're not as emotionally attached to those other people. So that's happening for a reason. So pay attention to how, what your patterns are like when it comes to other relationships in your life because then you can also see what that pattern has been like with your masculine and that's when you can actually break it break the negative pattern, you know, whether it be the way that you're thinking, because it's our thinking that also affects our emotions. Um, you know, or just, you know, the way that we react. So just being aware is sometimes enough to make a change. Like you don't even have to really do anything sometimes. Just becoming aware of it, it's like oh, automatically it'll, you know, lessen. So yeah, that's the message I'm getting here for the feminines, which was actually quite a lot. Um, just for the oracle cards so that <laughs> and that's usually what happens i don't know why that always happens with the feminines um so this is why i get less um tarot cards for for the feminines energy but wow okay really interesting so yeah you know either you know this might be something you're already aware of or you know just take it as guidance or as encouragement um, especially for some of you if you are involved in very toxic um, relationships outside of your masculine um, you're being called to conclude those. And I feel like you already are, you are awakening to the toxicity of, and maybe for some of you it is family. Um, and that doesn't mean having to cut these people out, you know, completely. It's just, you know, <clears throat> setting boundaries, keeping a particular distance. Not allowing them to affect you so much to, to the extreme. Okay, so let's just get <clears throat> anything else that wants to come through for the feminines. All right, 
right, we have the Hanged Man in reverse, the Emperor in reverse, and the Four of Wands. Yeah, you, I, I feel like you really aren't, either you're not waiting for your masculine anymore, at least not in the way that you used to, okay? Um, because everybody, again, you know, all of this, it's always on a spectrum. It, it's not black and white, okay? So when I, when I say you're not waiting anymore, you know, it's on that spectrum, meaning you're not waiting as much as you were before. And for some of you, it could be, I'm not waiting at all. And then for others, it could be, well, just not as much as before, okay? Because um, with the hanged man in reverse, yeah, you don't want to be in limbo anymore. You don't want to be in limbo anymore. Um, emperor in reverse, this is obviously how you're viewing your masculine. You're viewing your masculine as, you know, not coming. And I feel like you are accepting that. And that's good, okay? It doesn't mean that the masculine is not going to come around. It just means that you are accepting the situation for what it is right now. And you don't want to be in limbo. So, yeah, and that's going to mean different things to each of you, okay? Um, but it's interesting that we do have the Four of Wands here upright for you, just like we had it for the masculine. You still feel that connection, just like they still feel that connection with you as well. Even if you're not waiting, even if you're not expecting, even if you're not I feel like for this is why the masculine is picking up on that energy that I was talking about before because you really are shifting. You're closing out toxic patterns within your own self and they can feel that. They can feel that you are not as attached to them as you were before. But ultimately that is what is going to also push them even if temporarily it has to demotivate them. So yeah, not saying that you don't feel like this is your person, but at the moment, this is not how you want your person, you know? Um, so yeah, that is what I am getting here for the feminines. All right, so let's see what might be coming up in the next week or so. Also, I just want to say real quick, um... I may, I may not be able to get to the mid-month zodiacs this month, which really makes me sad. I do love doing those. Um, I will try. I will try. Um, but I'm just not sure that I will have enough time to get to those because I do give priority to personal readings. And I've just had a lot overall. Not just personal readings, just a lot of stuff overall. Um, but we'll see. Maybe I'll get like one video out for all the zodiac signs together. We'll see. All right, so let's see, for the masculines, what is this leading to? What is coming up? Okay, interesting. We have the devil, which actually I think landed in reverse and then spun upright, so that's just how I'm gonna have to take it. Um, the Page of Pentacles in reverse and the King of Swords in reverse. Wow, what is going on here? They're going to go through some rough stuff here. Basically, what I'm getting that this is, they're going to be facing the consequences of their actions or lack thereof um, from the past, basically. Um... It's almost like, you know, their actions from the past or lack of actions from the past are coming in to haunt them a little bit. And yeah, that's not fun to say. It's not at all, but that's what's happening here. And I, you know, feel like that's what needs to happen um, to eventually give them that motivation. I feel like there's going to be a lot that is coming up for them, especially in terms of them, you know, really having to face, you know, the whole concept of determinism and moving forward in a particular path, again, in terms of stability, you know, what is it that they really want? What is it that they want in terms of longevity and stability and how stable have they actually been? So that's, I mean, look, that's kind of scary looking, isn't it? That devil. But that's what they're, <laughs> and notice how this is like, um, what do you call that? I can't, it's not coming to me right now. Um, like the puppet where, you know, the, you know, having the strings on the fingers and manipulating the puppets. I feel like they're actually going to be faced with a lot of, um, you know, where it is that they have been manipulated in their lives by other people and, or by society and how that has actually influenced their 
behaviors rather than it being from their own authentic self. And they're not going to like that. So then again, it's like they're going to be really experiencing the consequences of that. And that's going to be a trigger. That's going to be a trigger for them to make a shift here because they have not been this king of swords. And basically they're going to, you know, see that someone else was the king of swords manipulating them, even if that is just, you know, societal norms or, you know, the way that they were conditioned or whether it's other people in their lives or whatever. So, yeah, not very fun for the masculines. Um, if, if there are any masculines watching this, you know, you can shift this, okay? Let me just say that right now. You can shift this. And again, it's similar to what I said to the feminines. By becoming aware, the more you become aware, the more it will begin to shift for you automatically. But yes, you know, there needs to be a dash of determinism from your end as well. But being becoming aware of this is the first step, and it doesn't have to be the scary. Um, so yeah, it's always in our control. So yeah, that is that is it. And for the feminines, I feel like you know you're just moving along the path here. I feel like we got enough for you. <laughs> enough to actually focus on um, coming up as well. So let's get some final oracle cards to close this out. Any final messages here for those watching? All right, we have the tribe. Okay, so very interesting to me that we have like a whole bunch of family cards showing up in this reading. Uh, um, we had, what was it? We had family and then we had the four of wands showing up twice, both for the masculine and the feminine, well, once for each. And now we have the tribe. Um, and we also have go the distance. So yeah, I'm definitely seeing this as a confirmation. Um, one of the, for one of the messages here, which is <laughs> to move away from the tribe that does not belong to you, okay? Or the influences of a tribe that is that you know does not resonate with you. You you don't have to completely sever the connections or the relationships, but go the distance, move away from anything that does not resonate for you, okay? In your um, immediate environment. And this obviously goes for both the masculine and the feminine. And this is also a message that that is happening. That is happening. It's just also encouragement. Okay, for that. Um, again, as I said, it is happening. So I do feel like the masculine is also going the distance. Okay, there is a bigger end goal here than just having to um, experience the consequences of their lack of action or actions um, that were not aligned with them. Um, they are moving in that direction. They are moving away from conditionings or, you know, anything of that sort and moving towards the tribe that does resonate with them, the tribe that is in alignment with them, okay? And this goes for both the masculine and, and the feminine. So, yeah, that is it. Um, I hope that this all made sense. Please give me a like if it did and yeah, I will talk to you guys very soon. Much love.